Today, at least two people were killed in the Afghan city of Asadabad after Taliban fighters fired on people waving the national flag at an Independence Day rally. At least eight people were wounded in the violence. Earlier today, the Taliban celebrated Afghanistan's Independence Day, declaring it had beaten the arrogant power of the world in the United States. Videos of Taliban fighters parading in US-made armored vehicles, wielding US-supplied firearms and climbing on American Black Hawk helicopters after the defeat of Afghan government forces have caused an embarrassment to the White House. Social media showed Taliban fighters carrying M14 and M18 assault rifles and M24 sniper weapons driving around in the iconic US Humvees and, in one video, apparently wearing US-style Special Forces tactical uniforms. The Biden administration has suspended all arms sales to Afghanistan. A decision in this regard was taken three days after the Taliban took control of the country. In a notice to defense contractors, the U.S. State Department's Political and Military Affairs Bureau said pending or undelivered arms transfers to Afghanistan have been put under review for the time being. The notice went on to add that the U.S. State Department will issue updates for defense equipment exporters in the coming days. Today, Gujarat High Court said that six sections of a law to stop love jihad including one that places the burden of proof on the accused, cannot be allowed to stand in an interim order ruling the provisions could not apply to interfaith marriages that showed no evidence of force or fraud. The court ruled that interfaith marriages between adults exercising free consent and without allurement or cheating cannot be termed as marriages for the purpose of unlawful conversion. The court passed the interim order in response to a petition that challenged a 2021 amendment seen as violating individuals' freedom of choice and religion and invading individuals' personal autonomy.